hi guys welcome back to my channel in today's video i'll be showing you guys how to cut and sew this simple booboo or you can call it a shift dress with collar and the uh, chest effect the chest design so i achieved this style using one and a half yards of ankara fabric and about half yards of crepe fabric so it's a very detailed tutorial and very beginners friendly don't forget to give this video a thumbs up leave a comment and subscribe to my channel so these are the fabrics we'll be working with for this tutorial i have one and a half yards of ankara fabric and i have this leftover crepe fabric i'll be using for the collar and the chest effect i have my rollers my tape rule and my chalk so i've gone ahead to cut out my fabric i'll be cutting out the front and the back panels together so i have the front panel in a fold of two and i also have the back panel in a fold of two this is what i have after folding so i folded the fabric using the widest circumference of my body which is my hip measurement divided by four which is 11 inches and i went ahead to add two and a half inches to it for ease and for the seam allowance so note that if you want your booboo -boo to be very free on your body you can add extra five inches to it but because i'm working with a small fabric that is why i have um two and a half inches extra for the ease and the seam allowance so right now i have the front panel in a fold and it's 13.5 inches in a fold so when i open it up i have about 27 inches and i have the back panel also in a fold of 13.5 inches so for the full length of our dress for the full length of the dress i have um 40 inches so i have about 40 inches in length here so by the time i fold it at the base i'll be left with about 38 inches for the length of my dress so the next thing to do is to mark out the neckline of the dress so come over to the closed angle of your folded fabric and take the wideness of your neckline so so for me i'll be working with three inches for the wideness of the neckline so i'll go ahead and mark three inches and then for the depth of the back neckline i'll be working with one inch this is for the back neckline so for the front neckline because it's a v-shaped neck i'll be coming down by eight inches from the shoulder line come down by eight inches and then i'll use my ruler to connect it to meet the wideness of the neckline so note that your um, front and back panel must have the same width neckline width but they can have different depth so after connecting this is what we have so we're going to cut out the back panel neckline first before we cut out the front panel so the remaining fabric after the neckline is going to just fall from the shoulder down to the sleeve so right now come over to this point and take my shoulder slope so i came down by 1.5 inches and then i'll just go ahead to connect it down to meet the um, neck width this way so from the shoulder slope line i'm going to take my round armhole measurements divided by two which is nine inches and i added one extra inch to it making 10 inches so the extra one inch is for the joining allowance the seam allowance and then from that point i'll just come in by one inch then from that one inch i came in i'm going to just draw it all the way down to the full length of my dress so it is this simple guys this is basically all for the um bubu part of this tutorial so the next thing to do now is to cut it out so go ahead to cut it out starting with the back neckline first and then i'll cut out this part in the form of a curve So after cutting out this is what we have so i'll go ahead to separate the front from the back panel and then i'll cut out the neckline of the front panel so before cutting out the front neckline i'll come over to the neckline depth and just come in by one inch just follow what you see me doing in the video i'll come in by one inch here and just extend the line so right now I'll connect the um, wideness of my neckline down to meet the one inch i just marked this way I'll connect it this way so guys when cutting out you just go ahead and cut out that one inch first before you um, cut out the v-neck line just as you can see me doing in the video just cut it out this way 
So this is what I have after cutting out. So by the time I open it up, I'm going to have something that looks like this. This is what you should have as well. So this is what the back neckline looks like. And this is what the front neckline looks like. So the next thing we want to do now is to join the shoulders of the front and the back pieces together. So I'm going to place them this way, right sides facing each other. And then take it to my sewing machine and join the shoulders together. I'll stitch it all the way down. So I'm not going to be closing up the sides yet. When I'm done joining the shoulders, I'll show you guys how to cut out the collar for the neckline. So after joining the shoulders together, this is what we have. So the next thing to do is to take the round measurement of the neckline to know the amount of fabric we'll be needing for the collar. So I'll go ahead to just measure it this way. So on this side, I have 17 inches. And then on the other side, I have 9 inches. So altogether, I'm working with 26 inches. So I'll add extra 2 inches to it, making 28 inches for the length of fabric I'll be cutting out. So that it won't be too short at the end of the day. So I'll be working with 28 inches in length and 5 inches in width. So by the time I fold up the 5 inches, I'll have 2.5 inches. And the remaining half inch is going to be for the joining allowance to my to the neckline of the booboo dress at the end of the day i'll be left with two inches for my collar so after cutting out the fabric for the collar this is what i have so i have five inches here so go ahead to fold this into two equal parts this way and take the center point just notch the center point at the up and at the base so go ahead to fold this into two making sure the notched angles are facing each other and then I'll also fold in the back neckline of my booboo dress this way. This is just to get the um, center point to, before you attach your collar to it. So I will also notch out the center point of the back neckline. So right now I'm going to place the notched point right sides facing each other. I'll place it on the notched angle of the, of the collar this way. Just match the, the notched points together match it together and then use your pin to secure it on it and, and then i'll just use my pins to further secure the collar to the neckline just as you can see me doing remember your collar is in a fold of two and the open angle is what you are attaching to the neckline so i'll just use my pins to secure it all the way around it this way after using my pins to secure the collar to the neckline, this is what it looks like. So right now, I'll take it to my sewing machine and join the two fabrics together. I'll join it all the way around. So this is the essence of the excess fabric I asked you to add to your collar. So when I'm done doing that, I'll show you guys the next thing to do. So after stitching the collar to the neckline, this is what it looks like. This is what we have. So by the time we um, fix it into the um, neckline this way, we're going to have something that looks like this so don't forget to make yours longer so that it's going to cross easily when you put it inside so remember that we'll be having another placket on the chest of this um booboo dress so i'll just get the fabric i'll be needing for that and then i'll go ahead to cut it out so this is the fabric we'll be using for the chest effect so i'll cut it out now and show you guys the next thing to do after cutting out the placket this is what i have so for the dimension i'm working with um 13.5 inches by 13.5 inches notice that this is totally optional you can use whatever measurement you want and you can also cut out whatever shape you want for your placket it doesn't have to be exactly like this so go ahead to fold it into two and then take the center point fold it into two and notch out the center point on the closed edge and then I'm going to place it on my neckline this way. That particular point where you passed in your um, collar. Just go ahead and fold up your placket this way. And then use your pin to secure it directly on that point, on that opening. So make sure as you are securing it, you are also using the pins to hold on to the neckline. Like you are joining the, the placket, the neckline and the fabric together. Only the front panel of the fabric. So just use your hand to just secure it this way with your pin. 
So I'll just use my pins to just hold up the um, upper part of this placket for you guys to see. So if you're working with a less stable fabric, you can go ahead to iron gum stay on your placket before you attach it to it. You can also do that for the collar as well. So I'll just use my pins to secure it to the front panel this way. So after securing it, guys, this is what it looks like. So right now, take it to my sewing machine and stitch it on it. So while stitching on the sides, I would also fold in by half an inch. So, so I'll fold it by half an inch on all the sides and stitch it all the way down. Notice so that you can make whatever shape you want with your placket at this point. So I'll stitch it all the way down. On the front panel and when i'm done stitching i will show you guys the next thing to do so after stitching down the placket this is what it looks like so you can see how neat it came out and how easy it is to achieve so i went ahead to add some extra fabric to the sleeve of my dress just to make it a bit longer so the next thing to do is to join the sides together to close up the sides so i'm going to flip it to the wrong side and just match it together this way i'll match it together this way and then i'll take it to my sewing machine using my one inch seam allowance i'll stitch it all the way down to the full length of my dress i'll repeat the same thing for the other side i'll stitch it all the way down so when i'm done joining the sides i'm going to finish up the base of my dress i'll fold it in twice by half an inch and stitch it all the way around it to finish it up and then i'll do the same thing for the sleeve opening i'll finish up the edges fold it in twice by half an inch and stitch it all the way around so when i'm done doing that i'm going to show you guys the finished product of our dress so guys this is the finished product of our purple dress so you can see how beautiful it looks and how easy it is to make so guys this is where we end the video for today don't forget to give it a thumbs up leave a comment subscribe to my channel and i'll see you guys in my next video bye